Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, Medical Director at Breast Cancer Answers. You know, one of the questions that I'm often asked is, gee, Dr. Harness, how long do I need to be on my anti-hormone therapy? Well, before answering that question, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our sponsor, Breast Cancer Index. It's a test that may help women with estrogen receptor positive early stage breast cancer to decide with their doctor whether to extend or end anti-hormone therapy after five years. Well, the answer to the question about how long should I be on anti-hormone therapy is a moving target right now. We've got data coming out strongly suggesting that women should extend beyond the traditional standard of care five years of tamoxifen if you're premenopausal and an aromatase inhibitor if you're postmenopausal or a combination of the two if you're perimenopausal. The data is pretty provocative and a lot of it's coming from Europe that really shows a benefit in disease-free survival and overall survival by extending anti-hormone therapy beyond the traditional five years. The difficulty is that breast cancer is a galaxy of diseases. We've got low grade, intermediate grade, high grade. We've got lymph node negative, lymph node positive patients. We've got stage one patients and stage three patients who come in. And so is there gonna be a better way to determine uh, how long someone should be on anti-hormone therapy. Right now, we're making that determination by stage and by grade and by a variety of things. That's why I think the evolution, if you will, of the breast cancer index is gonna be a very important tool for us to try and help sort out who should continue on after that initial five years of anti-hormone therapy. So clearly you need to be working with your local breast cancer surgeon, your medical oncologist, to help to determine if it's right for you. And once again, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Breast Cancer Index. To find out more about your treatment options beyond year five, just click the button and download our free list of 15 questions to go through with your doctor.